Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous Tuesday. Today I have a really fun and exciting video. My very good friend Elle, she created a tag which is the choosing a handbag for every occasion. Uh, this is an awesome video topic, especially because here in the luxury community, a lot of us ask each other questions, you know, what bag would you use for a wedding? Which bag would you use for this or that and the other? And I think that this is a really great way to get some answers, to get some feedback and to be able to help people out if they are, um, you know, if they're indecisive as to what bag they wanna add to their collection next. So Elle, thank you so much for tagging me. I'm super excited to do this. If you guys haven't had the opportunity to check out her YouTube channel, I will make sure and put a link to it on the description box below. I absolutely love her style. She's extremely knowledgeable. Uh, and what she ended up doing for this tag, she ended up breaking it up into six different categories. Uh, those categories are casual, work, travel, evening, day to night, and minimal. Uh, all right, so I did have a hard time. <laughs> I did have a hard time with uh, some of these because I felt like what she said in her video, one of the bags could kind of answer for several of these questions, but to add to the eye candy and, um, you know, just to, to get a little bit more information out there, I chose six different ones. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first one is casual. I had the hardest time with this one because a lot of you know that when it comes to my personal style, I am a very casual dresser and I can take any single one of my handbags and I can convert it into a casual look. Uh, I'm the type of person that I will rock my Vans and my Converse with my Chanel Classic Flaps. It's just the type of person that I am, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so I figured, okay, what about the type of bag that I end up gravitating towards when I can't decide what I wanna end up using? Uh, and that really ends up suiting my lifestyle to a T. And for casual, I chose the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the monogram canvas. Originally, I was going to do the Demi Azor because that is my most used uh, Louis Vuitton, but I decided to go for the monogram because I feel that it's a lot more carefree than the Demi Azor is. Uh, but for this bag, I just feel that, um, you know, when it comes to totes in general, I am definitely a tote girl. I do appreciate the handheld bags, but totes are just so incredibly easy to, to use. I feel like this bag is, I mean, there's absolutely no fuss. And whether I'm going out and about, if I'm doing this, that, and the other, I can fit everything and the kitchen sink if I would like, or I can go really, really minimal. And it's very lightweight. It's extremely comfortable. And because of the monogram, it does have, um, it does have this leather. It doesn't have the treated leather that Damien Ben has, but I just love the fact that this just kind of forms to my shoulder and it just makes for an incredible, an incredible handbag whenever I want to be extremely casual. So I pair this with a, like a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt and my jean shorts and my Vans or my flip flops or any one of my espadrilles and I am good to go. So for casual, definitely 100% the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the monogram canvas. I was going to do the Pouchette uh, Matisse just because I am such a fan of that bag, which is right over there. But between the two, I would still have to say that the Neverfull, for sure. <laughs> so this is my casual pick. Number two is work, and I opted for the Givenchy Antigona in the small size with the black pebbled leather and the silver hardware. I absolutely love this bag for work for a few different reasons. Number one, I love the fact that it has a very simple classic design. Uh, it doesn't have too much going on, not too many bells and whistles. And uh, number two, I feel that when it comes to the workplace, I feel that a lot of people are very conscientious as to the types of bag that they end up carrying to work. They don't want something that has too many logos. They don't want something that screams what fashion house the bag is from. So I feel that because it is very simple, it's very understated, but at the same time, I feel that the bag speaks volumes for the type of quality that it has. So it doesn't have to have all those extra bells and whistles. And I love that about it. Uh, something else that I really like about this bag for work is the fact that it does come with a uh, removable shoulder strap. So whether you decide to carry it uh, on the crook of your arm, or if you decide to hand carry it, you also have the option to put it on your shoulder if you're just kind of feeling uh, being a little bit more hands free if you're going uh, if you're going to work uh, you know on the subway or if you're just using any type of public public transportation then I think that it's great the fact that it has the zippered closure makes for a little bit more security uh, so I really do love this bag it's not too big it's not too small would I be able to fit a laptop in here no uh, but I still think that it makes for a really fantastic work bag so the Givenchy Antigona small size in the black pebbled leather with the silver hardware is my choice for work 
Number three is travel. Now I looked at this a few different ways. I was thinking, should I share the bag that I use when sightseeing? Should I share the bag that I use on the plane? Uh, so I figured let's add a little bit of eye candy and I will discuss both. The first one very, very briefly as it is uh, incredibly new to my collection, but I ended up dubbing it my new travel companion. And that is the Chanel Deauville in the large size. Um, I even said this in my unboxing video. I think that this is going to be the perfect travel bag because it is a very large tote. So I can end up fitting uh, my scarf in there, magazines, a water bottle, and anything else that we need on the plane. The fact that it's very lightweight would make it very uh, comfortable to go through TSA or anything like that. So this is my new travel bag as far as getting on a plane. But as far as traveling, when we get to the actual destination, when we are sightseeing, when we're out doing whatever we need to do, hands down 100%, that would be the Chanel wallet on chain or the walk. Uh, now, the reason why I opted for this bag is because I recently used it on our trip to London and it was the most incredible bag to use when we were there. There's so many different aspects. There's so many different features about it that I absolutely appreciate. Number one being that it is very versatile. So if we were out shopping during the day, I can use it crossbody because it does have a very generous uh, strap uh, strap length. Uh, I can also make this into a shorter handbag. I can end up hiding the chain whenever we went out to dinner so I can use it as a clutch. So I love that. I didn't have to carry, I didn't have to bring, you know, different bags with me because this was kind of like the all-in-one, if you will. Uh, and another aspect about it that I really like is that even though it is small and it's technically considered a small leather good by the fashion house, I end up using it as, the, as a handbag as most people do. Uh, but one of the best aspects about it is that because it is small, I felt that I, it was really easy for me to navigate through crowds with this. Uh, whenever we are sightseeing, I, for one, I don't, uh, don't want to use a big bag. I feel that if you are in a crowd, it's a lot easier for someone to slip their hand in your bag, take out uh, something, especially if it's an open tote, kind of like the Neverfull. So I want something a little bit smaller. I want something that's going to lay flat up against my body. Uh, like if I was wearing a jacket or when I was wearing my peacoat, I had this underneath my peacoat. So it looked even, um, it was even less, uh, it was even more inconsistent conspicuous because it was underneath my uh, underneath my coat and underneath my scarf so people really couldn't tell that I had any bag with me it was peeking out a little bit underneath my coat but other than that you would just think I was just walking along uh, so I love that it's very very small but it ends up fitting the essentials in here I was able to fit um, our passports, uh, a lipstick, our hotel keys, a map. There's so many different things that I was able to fit. And even though it's small, I feel that it's very, very deceiving. A lot of people might think, oh, you can carry like one thing in there. I, I end up utilizing it so much. I end up packing it to the point where uh, I feel comfortable leaving the hotel and just carrying the essentials with me. Plus the fact that it ends up having the credit card slots makes it extremely, extremely convenient, um, you know, to make sure that you don't have to carry an extra wallet with you. So hands down, hands down, one of my best travel bags has been the Chanel wallet on chain. One more detail on the wallet on chain before I forget, uh, and that's the fact that it is the caviar leather. I prefer the caviar leather for travel just because I feel that it's a lot more carefree than some of the other leathers that the fashion house offers. I'm not saying that they're not durable or anything like that, but I just feel that when it comes to caviar, you can use it in the snow, you can use it in the rain, you can use it whether it's sunny. It doesn't matter the type of weather that you're landing in. Uh, so it's just one more thing that you have, one less thing that you have to worry about whenever you are looking at travel bag. So I just thought I'd mention the caviar leather very, very quickly. Number four is formal. So kind of like what I mentioned at the beginning, I said that there is a bag that I could almost get away with using in every single occasion that we've discussed in this video, and that is the Chanel wallet on chain. So I was going to say, oh, maybe I can end up incorporating the wallet on chain into all these different uh, occasions. But then I was thinking, okay, no, think of a bag that is formal. Think of a bag that really would elevate the type of outfit that you're going for, for that evening or for the day. And I opted for the Chanel Chanel mini rectangular in the black lambskin with the light gold hardware. I do have two rectangular uh, minis. I have one in the caviar and I also have the lambskin that I just showed you. And even though I'm a big fan of caviar leather for the reasons that I've said before, I feel that it's very carefree. It's just an all around great uh, leather. Between the two, I feel that lambskin is just a tad more luxurious. I feel that it adds that extra oomph. It adds that extra pizzazz that you're looking for uh, for an event. Uh, so the lambskin, 
once upon a time, I thought that it was so incredibly delicate. There's no way I would ever get one in my collection. It's too this, it's too that. And much to my surprise, it is the exact opposite. It's not as carefree as caviar leather is, but it's still incredibly durable. And I have used this bag quite a bit and I feel that it still ends up looking uh, quite nicely. But again, back to what I was saying, I feel that I, I feel that this would really elevate that outfit. I feel that it would really add to it. You know what I mean? And uh, I particularly like it because it's not too long. It's not too short on my body frame. It ends up fitting exactly where I would want it. Uh, when it comes to a formal bag, it's not something that I want to use crossbody. Thank goodness, because this bag looks absolutely atrocious on me. Crossbody, it looks like I'm suffocating it. It looks like I'm trying way too hard to look cute. You know what I mean? Uh, so I can't pull it off to save my life, which is okay because we're going to a formal dinner. We're going to a formal, like a gala or a, a wedding or what have you. And I think that this is perfect. Uh, so even though it is small, I feel that it's dainty. I feel that it's very chic. It's very classic. Uh, and it fits just the right essentials. If it's my phone, a lipstick, a card holder, uh, my car keys, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to fit everything else that I would want to carry, but just the right essentials for that evening. Uh, and another thing that I really like about the mini is the fact that I can also end up hiding the chain so I can make it look kind of like a clutch if I wanted to. If I didn't want to go for the, you know, for the shoulder, uh, for the shoulder look of it, I can hide the chain, use it as a clutch. Uh, but I just think that this bag is absolutely perfect for a formal event. And there it is on the inside. As I said, it's not too, too big, uh, you know, and it's not ridiculously small either, but it fits just those essentials. And I will have to say one step further as far as why I chose this bag is because of the type of hardware that it has. It does have the light gold hardware that I mentioned. Uh, so I feel that whether you are going for, um, whether you're kind of trying to match your jewelry and you have gold jewelry, or if you have silver jewelry, I feel that it would really complement either one. I feel that it would, I feel that it's very versatile in that sense. And I feel that it really caters to either type of, of hardware that you're going for or the type of jewelry that you're going for between silver and gold. Uh, so I really do love that aspect about it as well. But again, I just feel that this bag, it's very small, it's very chic, it's dainty, it adds to your outfit, it really elevates your outfit. And uh, I just, I think that it is perfect for a formal evening. So whether you're going on a date, whether you're going to a wedding, whether you're going to, you know, your boss's dinner and everyone's in a suit and tie type of thing. This is perfect. I, I definitely think so. <laughs> so the Chanel mini rectangular flap in the black lambskin with the light gold hardware. Number five, day to night. I absolutely love this topic because I am all about versatility. I've already been talking about it quite a bit on this video, uh, but a lot of you know that's very much so something that I look for when it comes to luxury goods. And I opted for the Chanel medium large classic flap in the black caviar with the silver hardware. This is my most used Chanel handbag and I think it's because of the versatility that it has. This is perfect for me to be able to use uh, when I'm out shopping, when I'm going antiquing. I mean, I can incorporate it into every single aspect of my lifestyle. And then when I want something that I want to wear to dinner, something that I want to be very, very, uh, or maybe something a little bit more dressed up, then I can use this bag. It's a fantastic way to transition. And uh, I absolutely love it. It ends up fitting the essentials. I don't, I, again, this is another bag that I really can't pull off crossbody, but I end up using it on a single, uh, on a single strap like so. I just love the way that it looks whenever I am using either either jeans or whether I'm using a skirt or a dress, whether I'm using my Vans, whether I'm using, um, you know, heels or if I'm wearing flats or anything like that. I feel that it really goes with any type of outfit, any single type of outfit. Um, I mean, I could be wearing my sweatshirt and I can end up rocking this or I can be completely dressed to the nines and I feel that it would also complement, uh, you know, what I'm wearing. So I think that the medium large would definitely be um, a bag that I just just feel that a lot of people would end up gravitating towards when it comes to going from day to night. Uh, and like I said before, it ends up fitting the essentials. Um, and it, another thing that I love about this bag, uh, and the reason why I feel that I use it the most, more so than uh, the jumbo that I have up here, is because I feel that it's a lot more lightweight between the two. Uh, they are both a double flap, but the jumbo, I feel, uh, I mean, I can really feel the, the the weight that it has. I don't feel that it's, I don't feel that it's uncomfortable, but I can feel it. You know what I mean? But when it comes to 
of the medium large, I it's almost like I'm using my wallet on chain from Chanel. It's almost like it's not even there. It's extremely, extremely comfortable to, to use. And if I end up going more compact, then it's perfect. Uh, you know, because I don't have to have a large wallet in here. I don't have to have my cosmetic pouch and I don't have to have all the other extras, but it still ends up fitting quite a bit in here. So the medium large by far is my uh, my day tonight and uh, if you follow me on Instagram I posted a picture uh, the other day I was out shopping with Robert and I was wearing my Vans and I was using my classic flap like I said at the beginning of the video that's just the type of person that I am uh, and then uh, I we came home I ended up keeping the bag and I just ended up changing my outfit and we were done I didn't have to worry about sitting here switching out my bag or anything like that and we you know we went out to dinner and it was perfect so again the versatility that I feel that the Chanel classic flap has um, I think really adds to the beauty of it and uh, I don't feel that this is the type of bag that you only can wear when you are completely dressed up and I don't feel that it's the type of bag that you have to wear when you're going somewhere, um, you know, where uh, like you, you have to use it when you're going out to luxury shops or anything like that. I feel that you can use this bag everywhere, anywhere. Very, very, very versatile. So love the Chanel Classic Flap for that reason. And last but not least, minimal. So this will definitely not be a surprise. I don't think any of the choices that I uh, that I ended up going for are going to surprise anybody if you've been watching my channel for a while. Uh, but as far as the minimal handbag of choice, and it's not really a handbag, it's more a small leather good, I opted for the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire New Model. Uh, I absolutely love this bag. I've been raving about it quite a bit for uh, ever since I added it back into my collection. But this is another bag that I feel really ends up just kind of checking off a lot of the boxes when you're looking for a handbag. It's great for minimal. As I mentioned, this is my choice. It's also great to transition from day to night if you wanted to. Uh, it's a great travel bag. There's just so many different aspects about it. And the fact that it's also very versatile. Again, here I go with the versatility, but I just, I, you know, I have to, <laughs> I feel like I have to speak my mind when it comes to some of these goods, you know? Uh, but when it comes to the, the Pouchette Accessoire, I feel that it's extremely versatile. You can use it as a clutch. You can use it as a handbag. And even though it is considered a small leather good, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of people end up using this as a catch-all as well. Uh, but another thing that I really like about this bag is the fact that it has an incredible price point. So if you're looking for a smaller item, something that you don't have to carry uh, too many items with you, but still I mean, but you're still able to use just the essentials, then I think that this is a perfect option to go for. Uh, and I especially like the new model uh, that they have now, just because I feel that it ends up sitting on its own a little bit better. It's a little bit, it has a wider base. And uh, I also like the fact that the strap is a little bit longer because uh, like I said, this is the new model. The older model uh, has a shorter strap, so it's not as comfortable to use uh, on, your, on, your, uh, on your shoulder if need be. Uh, and it's also a little bit, uh, it's not as uh, it's not as thick on the bottom. So I just, I absolutely love this. Again, the phenomenal price point, the fact that it's extremely versatile and the fact that you can really end up incorporating this into many aspects of your life as well, as I mentioned. And I will take it one step further when it comes to going minimal because I, I, I briefly talked about this on my summer essentials last week. Uh, because of where I live, it gets extremely, extremely hot. It's sometimes it's muggy. Sometimes we get that humidity rolling in and it just makes for a hot mess when I'm carrying a big bag. And when I'm going for minimal, I want something that's not going to attract a bunch of heat. I want something that's not going to be fussy. I want something that's just going to, it's kind of like a grab and go type of thing. So that's really what I look for when it comes to minimal. Uh, so I opted to also use this bag with the uh, removable uh, monogram bandolier strap from Louis Vuitton. Like I said, this is in the monogram canvas and it has the pink. So it adds a nice pop of color if you're looking for that. Uh, but still, I feel that this, by adding it to that, it kind of it kind of, I know, bumps it up a notch, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the fact that this strap is a little bit thicker and this is a little bit thinner, but I just, I don't know, I think it makes a really nice pairing. But all together, all in all, when it comes to minimal, I think that this is one of the best bags. I would have to say that second would have to be my wallet on chain. Again, that one keeps popping up into all the different uh, topics that I am discussing on this video. Uh, but between the two, just this one is just, a, I don't know what 
it is. It's just, it's such a phenomenal, phenomenal piece and I highly, highly recommend it. Again, if you are wanting something smaller or maybe if you just want to venture into Louis Vuitton and you don't want to never full and you don't want to speedy and you don't want to start out with a clay, you want something a little bit bigger, then I think that this is the great option to go for. So the Louis Vuitton Pouchet Accessoire new model. All right, you guys, so that does it for the handbag for every occasion video. Thank you again, Elle, so much for tagging me to do this. I think this is a great idea and kind of like what she mentioned on her video, I really do hope that this tag circulates quite a bit because it offers a lot of information. And you guys know I'm all about information when it comes to luxury goods. Uh, so I would love to tag a few people and that would be Snape HBP, Lux Purse Love, B Shops Pink, Tammy Shops and LV Lover CC. I'd love to hear you guys' choice or any of you out there, even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you just want to share in the comment section down below, let us know. Uh, it's all about information. And again, I feel that this video will be extremely helpful to anyone that's indecisive or that's thinking about adding something else to their collection if they're looking for a specific type of category. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on that red button down below. I make anywhere from two to three videos a week Week, so make sure you hit that bell so you are notified and I will see you all if not tomorrow then I will see you on Thursday and as always make it a fabulous day or not the choice is yours have a great day you guys